Hello everyone and welcome to Crafty Tuesday with Made For More as part of the I Am Made For More challenge and our journey on self-awareness. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Megan for those of you that I don't know and I'm part of the Made For More team and I'm going to be doing today's Crafty Tuesday. It's such a pleasure to be with you in your homes as we get our creative juices flowing. So the topic of today's video is emotions. And it's really important in this process of self-awareness that we understand what our emotions are, that we acknowledge them and express them. Otherwise, we end up feeling frustrated and misunderstood. And I feel like at this time, emotions are running high. One day you might feel completely happy and victorious and that everything's going to be okay. And then the next day you feel sad and lonely and like no one understands you. And so what we're going to be doing today is just a little fun activity to get us talking about emotions, which is really important. Okay, so what you are going to need is um, some cardboard. What I did is I actually got a cardboard box from the shops um, and then sprayed it down with hand sanitizer. Uh, but you could also use paper or any other cardboard that you have lying around um, at home. You're going to need a pair of scissors. The nice thing about using this thick cardboard from a box is that it really gets your, um, your muscles working when you come to cutting. You're going to need a pencil and a marker, ideally, or else cookies or even um, a pencil or a pen. And then I've got some um, pencil crayons. You can also use cookies. I've used, got a highlighter as well that I've used just to do a little bit of colouring in. Um, so the first part of the process is to cut out a little template. So what we are going to be aiming towards is actually creating these little cute emojis on a little egg shape, which is quite fun. We've got all sorts that we've got um, to do today. So what I did first is that I just drew a, um, a little template or a stencil, which makes it really easy when it comes to preparing my my little faces. So what you do is put down your, your template, hold it in place and use your pencil to outline your little template. So as you can see I've got a whole lot of um, shapes on my cardboard which then need to be cut out in preparation for this. Right, so this is hard work like I said. What's really nice about this activity is that once you've prepared it all and you've got your little um, emojis, is that you can involve your, your siblings or your neighbours um, just in terms of getting the conversation going about emotions. cardboard is hard to cut. So make sure you've got a good strong pair of scissors and if you need help from your parents or um, anyone who's looking after you at home don't be afraid to ask them. So you can see here I've just cut out my, um, roughly cut out my shape and then I cut it following the lines. And that's why it's helpful having a template or a little stencil is that I can draw lots of them very quickly on my cardboard. Right. So there you go. And then you keep going and cut out a whole lot of your shapes. I did 14, but it depends on how many emotions you want to talk about. So what I did is I actually drew out a whole lot of emojis so that I could practice because I had, my drawing skills are not amazing but you don't need to have good drawing skills for this activity and um, then it just meant that I knew exactly what to draw onto my little my little shapes. All right so that's what we're going to do next. So I'm going to take my koki and draw my little smiley face, my cheeky face, my fun face. So like I said, you don't have to be an artist in order to do this activity. Okay. 
So you can see there, I made a little winky face with the tongue sticking out, like a little cheeky face, which is the same as the first one on my piece of paper here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color in the tongue for a little bit of color. So I'm using my pink highlighter for that. So there you go, cheeky little face. All right, then the next step is to take your little emoji and actually cut it in half. So make sure that the eyes are on one half and the mouth is on the other half. So now we have created a little puzzle. I'm going to show you again on this guy. See, I've cut them in half. Now, the challenge is to match them all together. So I'm going to show you the little emojis that I've got. As you can see here, this is a very sad face set about something and so now what we can do is mix up all of our tops and bottoms and try and match them and then talk about these what these emotions are and so what makes you feel worried at home are you worried about your schoolwork are you worried about not seeing your friends are you worried about when life will go back to normal what's what is it that's worrying you This is a happy laughing face. You can see that it's got some tears of joy. <laughs> what is it that makes you happy? What is it that makes you laugh until your belly hurts? What is it that makes you laugh so hard that you cry? And how can you introduce doing those things at home? This is a sad face. What is it that makes you sad? Are you feeling sad at the moment? How are you um, going to deal with those emotions? So this is our little sad face. And this is our love face. <laughs> so someone is obviously feeling like life is amazing and wonderful and feeling in love. And so those two go together. So as you can see here, what I start to do is I mix up all of my little emotions. And this is where it's quite fun to get other people to come and join you, is that the challenge is to try and match up your, the eyes with the mouth. Look at this sleepy face. This person's feeling very sleepy. And this little guy's feeling like everything is great. So as you can see now, I'm mixing all of this around and the challenge here is to say, okay, well that's a really big happy smiley face, what eyes does it match with? Do you think it matches with those worry eyes? I don't think so. Does it match with the winky eyes? Maybe that works quite nicely together, doesn't it? Otherwise, it could also go with just regular eyes. And so you see now how we, and this is a very angry looking face. So where's an angry, that could be his combination where he's feeling upset about something. And so those two go together. Ah, looks like a little kiss there. What is that gonna go with? Do you think it goes with just regular eyes? That could be a combination there. He has our sleepy face. Could go with that where he's yawning. So you see how you can mix these all up. This is a, definitely a laughing face. So I don't think that those two go together. Although they could. <laughs> but that looks way more like a laughing face. Hey, isn't that nice? And here's our worried frown. And there's our worried eyes. And so you see how you can mix these all, all together. And what's really nice about this activity is that it gets us talking about our emotions, which is not something that we ordinarily do. And um, so I really encourage you in this journey of self-awareness to take time um, in understanding how you're feeling 
and what's impacting on that and also understanding what we can control and what we can't control. So obviously being stuck at home at the moment where things might be a little bit tense and um, you know that's out of our control. So it really is up to us to have positive attitude and as we've said before, gratitude is actually a really great way of shifting our mindsets so that we're grateful, we focus on what we're thankful for, what we're grateful for as opposed to the things that we're upset about and we are feeling like has been taken away from us, like our freedom to walk around outside at any time of day. But in a time like this, it's really important that we just look after each other, make sure that we talk about how we're feeling, and yeah, stay safe, stay, um, look like I said, look after one another. I really encourage you guys to make sure that you wear your masks when you go outside. This is a beautiful mask that um, is available for me for more. Um, so if you want one, please do get in touch with us to order one. Um, what's great is that 100 Rand buys you four masks, two for yourself and two to donate to someone less fortunate. So please make sure that you wear your masks when you go outside and um, constantly practice washing hands, sanitizing, social distancing. Stay safe, everybody. We look forward to seeing you again. And thank you so much for joining us for today's Crafty Tuesday. Take care.